Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining me for today's yoga session which is focused on core strength and tummy toning. So without further ado, we will begin with our cat cow pose. So we're just going to gently loosen up the spine. So come into your tabletop. Remember to breathe in and out through your nose during the whole class. So for tabletop, hips above the knees, shoulders above the wrists, into position. We're going to exhale around the back, tuck the chin for cat pose. And then inhale to cow. So just go with your breath, exhaling into cat, round your back, tuck your chin, and back, inhale, cow. Just keep going. Couple more. into cow and back to a neutral spine now obviously uh, we're going to get into plank now because plank is obviously a very very good core strength builder so bringing those hands slightly forward tuck your toes walk your feet back so that you are nice got a nice straight back that then bring those shoulders back over your wrist so Pull your tummy in, only hold this for as long as is comfortable for you. So drawing those heels back. The weight bearing is also wonderful for your bones, so your wrists and your shoulders. Pull that tummy in, just be aware of that core strength. And then just lower yourself down, nice and gentle, all the way down. And then we're gonna come into a gentle cobra. So we're gonna inhale up, push down, Lift up, lift those hips up if, if your back is tight. So listen to your body. And then we're gonna come back down again and we're gonna bring those elbows under the shoulders like into Sphinx pose. So we're gonna get into a forearm plank. So palms down, uh, elbows under the shoulders. We're gonna lift up onto the toes. And again, so like we did with plank, we're gonna draw those Heels back, we're gonna hold this pose. Remember not to hold your breath. Pull your tummy in, feel that strength building. Only hold it for as long as is good for you, but remember not to hold your breath. Hold the pose, not the breath. Keep breathing. And slowly release. And we're gonna go back into pose of a swan, just to relax that back. So sit back on your heels. Stretch those hands out in front, forehead to the mat. Just have a lovely stretch here. A little rest, reaching those hands forward. And then walk the hands back. And we're going to bring the legs out in front. So we're going to get into our boat pose here. So sit up nice and tall remember posture so sit into into um staff pose first nice straight back and then actually you can bend your knees so the knees are bent the feet flat on the floor we're going to tilt back on those sit bones so as you do i want you to pull that tummy in so suck your, your tummy towards your spine so really engage that core and then straighten the legs you can keep your hands on the floor for now so you're really Make sure your back's not rounding, lift that head. You can straighten your legs if you wish or keep them bent, whatever's most comfortable. And then you can stretch your hands out in front if that's comfortable. If not, support yourself. But while you're doing it, really pull that tummy in. Remember, this is wonderful for your back because it is literally supporting your spine. Your, your core strength is so important. So keep breathing come out of it when you've had enough just feel free to have a rest listen to your body and lower down and now we're going to get into our real tummy toning routine this is something I do most days 
I absolutely love it. I come in into my little room and every morning I do this to tone up my tummy and build my core strength. So we're going to massage that back first. After that boat pose, just relax, rocking those knees from side to side. And now we're going to do a tummy toning routine, which is, a, you know, bit of sit ups and stuff. So stretch those legs out in front, stretch them out in, in corpse pose. Hands behind your head. That's it. So we're going to release the right hand and we're going to lift the left leg. So we're going to suck the tummy in and bring that right hand under the left leg. So that's one. Two, and as you come up, you exhale. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you're supporting your head with your left hand. And now we're going to swap sides. So we're going to support the head with the right hand. And we're going to bring that left arm. I'm going to make sure I don't whack my plant. <laughs> One, two, three. Remember to suck that tummy in. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that's those sit-ups done. And now bend both knees, but stretch the left leg up. So the kind of the knee is tucking into the back of the left knee. You're kind of crossing the legs. You can point the toes on both feet. So your both knees, are, both feet are off the ground, but you're kind of hugging the knees together in a twist. And we're gonna bring that right elbow to the left knee. Again, exhale, two, three, Four, pull the tummy in. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to switch legs. So right leg on top, left arm comes up towards right knee. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Remember to breathe, exhale, five. As you come up, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, both feet down into like what I'd recall like sort of like a reclined twist. So your knees are rolling to the right and we're gonna lift up now. Exhale, as you come up, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And swap those knees over. We're going to do the other side. You're kind of getting that lovely stretch here in the side there. So one, do as many as are good for you. Two, build up. Three, remember to pull the tummy in. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. We're going to come into our uh, goddess pose now. This one's a little bit different, a little bit more, more difficult. We're going to lift up and then we're going to release the hands. So you're doing one up, exhale, hands forward. One up, exhale, hands forward. One up, hands forward. One up and forward. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Stretch those legs out. We're going to do leg lifts now. So again, suck that, suck that tummy into the spine. We're going to lift the right leg up and lift the head. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, just ordinary sit-ups now. Ten. One, two, suck that tummy in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're going to do hover legs, which is a real challenge. So lift up, place your hands down, so with your palms facing down, so your, your bottom sitting on the top of the back of your hands. Pull your tummy in, lift those legs, and you're going to hover them back and forth. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. Now, all of these will get easier, so if you can only do one or two of each, that's the best way to do it, and then gradually build up. Okay, we're going to hug those knees, give that back a lovely massage into the mat as we've done our tummy toning well and truly. So hug those knees, massage your back. We're going to go into bridge, so take the feet down. We're going to squeeze the glutes, take a breath in. Exhale as you push down, lift up, pulling that tummy in, squeeze. Push down, that's it. Really squeeze those glutes. Keep breathing. Lower down. Okay, we're going to do the windscreen wipers. So walk the feet a little bit wider. Extend your arms out and just let your knees drop to either side. So just twisting from side to side. That's it. So although this is great for your hips, it's also good for your core. You're twisting one way and the other. Keep pulling that tummy in. Okay, bringing those knees back together. Just let your knees fall in towards each other. Place your hands on your belly. Just take a few breaths here. Picture yourself with that strong core, protecting your back and improving your posture and, and also giving you a flat tummy. Okay, so we're going to roll over onto our right. We're going to get ourselves, we're going to finish in child's pose because it's relaxing. So we're finishing wide-legged child's pose, so knees nice and wide. I'm just relaxed down here. So just folding down and relaxing. Okay, I'm going to slowly come back up, so bring those knees back together and then come round and take a seat in easy pose or whichever is most comfortable for you, sitting up nice and tall. We're going to finish with our, our cleansing breath, inhale the hands up, exhale through the mouth. Hands down to your heart centre. Namaste. And there is an affirmation to go with this practice. It is, my core is the centre of my strength, stability and confidence. So, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you haven't already um, subscribed, please do. And if you click that little notification bell, 
it will let you know when I upload a new video. So uh, I've got lots of videos, over 500, so um, check them out. I'll leave links to a couple of them up here. Thank you very much for joining me today. Please don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Maybe let me know which of those toning exercises, the sit-ups that you uh, found the most challenging, but also give yourself a chance, build up gradually, and you really will reap the benefit, not as I said before, not just your tummy, but in your back and your whole body, your posture. It's like a big, strong framework that you're building there. So anyway, I'm going to stop talking and wish you a wonderful day. And thank you again for watching. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up and like and subscribe. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.